Hey, how's it going geeks? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some Bitcoin gold mining. Now, there's been a lot of confusion as far as generating a Bitcoin gold address. It was actually kind of chaotic at first, the first couple of days, and it's still kind of confusing. And uh, some of the options aren't working very well. I don't know, the MyBTG wallet was having some issues earlier. Uh, myself personally I dislike using web wallets um, just for safety reasons um, not a big fan of mobile wallets either but it seems to be the only option right now so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do some Bitcoin gold mining using Coinami um, essentially what you gotta do is grab your smartphone and download this application it should be pretty straightforward. Um, just go through all the steps, steps. <laughs> go through all the steps and uh, generate yourself a Bitcoin gold address. Um, save that address, email it to yourself, and uh, save it somewhere in your computer because we're gonna need it later on. Also, you can also always download the entire Windows client, but. <laughs> It's around 160 gigabytes um, in size. So, I mean, that would be the safest way to do this, but it's kind of eh, very, very time consuming and it takes up a lot of space. All right, guys, so we got ourselves our brand new BTG address and we have it saved in our computer. The next thing we're going to want to do is download our mining program. In this case, we're going to be using EWBF's CUDA Zcash miner since we're using NVIDIA cards. Uh, we're gonna go to this website. I'm gonna have everything linked in the bottom so just go down there and click on the appropriate links. Uh, we're gonna click on Windows X64 since we're gonna be using this on a Windows machine. Uh, the Google Drive n never works for me for whatever reason but if it works for you go ahead and click on that. But I always use the mega link above. It's going to open this and you're going to click the bottom one. The top one is always the oldest. The bottom one is always the most recent. In this case is 3.4. So we're going to double click it and it's going to download. Once we have the file downloaded, we're going to drag it to our desktop and we're going to extract it. Just like so. And uh, you can get rid of this now since you already have the contents extracted in your desktop. We're going to double click the file and it's going to open this. And it's going to look rather intimidating at first, but it's fairly easy once you start getting the hang of things so essentially this miner comes preloaded with uh, four different batch files right here um, and are executable right here in the middle so what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure one of these batch files using our very own address connect it to a pool and then tell the executable to launch and once the EXE launches, we're going to start mining um, directed towards that pool. And that pool is going to send the funds to our address. So let's get to it. All right. So the next thing we're going to want to do is register for Supernova. We're going to go in the upper right hand corner and click sign up. And then just like any other account, just fill in your information and hit register. Then once you're all registered, you go up here and click login. And then you're just going to log into the account you just registered.
All right, once we're registered, we're gonna wanna click on my account and my workers. Once you're in here, you're gonna notice you don't have any workers currently uh, configured. So what we're gonna wanna do is delete the username up here and create as many wor workers as uh, you have rigs. So if you have 10 rigs, you're gonna uh, wanna create 10 different workers. All right, in this example, I'm gonna use the name Geek Rig one and my password is going to be LOL and I'm going to create add new worker and as you can see right here it's been updated and now I officially have one worker it's currently not active because it's obviously not mining but uh, you'll notice once we start mining this X is going to turn into a check mark and it's going to give us the kilo hash and the difficulty. So once we created our web login, we created our worker. The last thing we need to do is configure the batch file and direct that batch file to mine to the pool. And the way we're going to do that is by clicking this option down here that says help. And then once we click help, we're going to click on getting started. And right here, it's going to give you example batch files. Uh, in this particular case, we're using NVIDIA's EWBF miner. So we're going to copy this entire thing right here. And we're going to open our EWBF miner uh, folder. Then we're going to edit our supernova batch file and paste what we just copied on the supernova website. And as you can see right here, the batch file is telling the executable to open with the, these uh, given parameters. We're using the server btg.supernova.cc, which is the Bitcoin gold server. We're using the given Bitcoin gold port. In this case, it's 8816. And the only things we really need to change is the web login. In this case, it would be Geekmark. So I'm gonna change that real quick. And yeah, all of this is case sensitive, so make sure you copy it exactly the way it is. And then the next thing we're gonna do is edit the worker name in this case our worker name is let's see geek rig one so I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna paste it here so web login dot worker name geek mark dot geek rig one and our password is lol and that's about it. You have your batch file configured to mine to this server, this port, and to your account, your miner, and you're just giving it access using the password you used. Now, here are two more uh, commands that uh, are really useful to use. You can also use dash dash PEC and this is gonna show you how much wattage the cards are drawing it's not super accurate but it's, it gives you a ballpark idea of how much the system is consuming and another one is dash dash B zero and uh, this drops the developer fee from two percent to zero and then we're gonna click on file save and our batch file is ready to go now for the very last thing we need to do we're gonna go into edit account you paste your Koinami address right here now if you're not a hundred percent sure your address is working properly you can always set 
the payment amount really really high so as an example just set it to like a thousand something ridiculously high like that that you'll never reach that way you'll continuously keep mining and you won't receive payments until you verify your payment address and once you're a hundred percent sure your payment address is working properly you can drop down the payment threshold to something more manageable like 0.5 or whatnot and uh, you just type in your pin paste your address and you're all good to go so let's uh, test out the miner see if everything actually works to see if uh, I'm not lying to you guys <laughs> alright so we're gonna go to my workers I'm gonna close the current miner I have running right now and we're gonna test out the batch file we just created so we just created this one supernova you can always rename it also to keep things organized so supernova btg we're gonna double click it and there you guys have it it's up and running our current pool our port and uh, our two cards and there it goes some good old mining and then we can always refresh the page and as you can see active now as soon as it detects the first share it goes to active and uh, your killer hash rate it's gonna take a while to reach the appropriate amount as you can see it's going up slowly but yeah that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, don't forget about that lonely subscribe button peace